Okay, so let's get started. Here I have a very simple floor plan that I loaded and we're currently in the room tab. If I go into 3D, you'll quickly see what it looks like. And we have the automatic lights showing. If I go above and look down, you'll see how they are automatically turned off. And the light looks good here. We're in the render setting for daytime in the presets. So if we go to evening, we'll see some more shadows and it gets a little bit darker. And we can even go to night to make it more obvious. But we'll stay in the evening setting and we'll go back to orbit. And now we're going to go to the light tab. Here are the default lights. If I try to move them, nothing's going to happen because they are locked in default mode. But if you select one of the lights, like I have here, and then click on unlock ceiling, unlock ceiling lights, you can move them around wherever you want. You can change the strength of each individual light. We can mark all lights in room and they will change together like this quickly. If I remove that, I can also go into the color option, color palette, select a color, change the strength for the color. And if we go into 3D, we can see what that looks like. It's pretty neat how you can customize the lights in each individual room or in all the individual lights, so to say. Now, what I can do is uh, also is add more custom lights. So I can add another one. And this is one of my own lights. Those are not the default lights. And if we place it underneath, what I can do here, for instance, is increase the strength. And we can lower perhaps the strength on the top one. And why did I do that? Well, you see, if we have a light, it's going to cast more light on the walls. And you can increase that uh, uh, look by using multiple lights. If we move over here, I have pretty much the same design, but we've added some equipment. And uh, if we go into 3D, you'll see it's completely dark because I removed all the default lights and I don't have any custom lights. We'll go to the orbit view and I'm still in the light tab. I'll add a light. I'll lower the strength, place it a little bit further down so it aligns with that uh, wall light. We'll add another one, move it even further down and place it underneath. And you'll see what that looks like. It's pretty neat. It looks very realistic. I'll even turn that down a little bit more like that. Then we'll add a, se a third light and a fourth light. I'm going to add uh, another one and the, these two lights we're going to move in a little bit and we're going to lower them like this, like this. I can of course do this in 2D view because that gives me a better sense of where I am with the lights like that. And I'm going to increase the strength on that one, increase the strength on that one, and maybe change the color to red on that one. See what it looks like right there, going to 3D. Now, isn't that cool? We'll continue. We'll add a light over there, bring it down a little bit decrease the strength, add one more. And that one I'm going to lower down almost to the floor and position underneath, add some strength to it, and finish off by adding three lights over the cardio section. Like I said, you can do this in 2D view as well and make sure you get them in the perfect position like that. And if you're happy, you click the camera button, select single image, and you choose the resolution that you want to render. Okay, that was some quick tips on how to use the light system in Easy Design 5 beta version.